Hi, welcome to Moxie. My name is Michelle, and I'm assuming if you're watching this kind of welcome video that you are brand new to Moxie, we are so glad that you're here. Uh, there are a lot of things that you can do and customize and create within Moxie that will streamline your business. It will take uh, a minute to get things set up the way that you're used to, but once we get your full system all set up in Moxie, you are going to be amazed at how much more streamlined uh, your business feels. So I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of my top eight or so things I would do if you have an ongoing business where you are bringing in uh, new clients all the time and sending invoices, maybe doing a little bit of project management. I'm going to show you um, kind of the top things that I would go in and set up to get started with Moxie. We're going to start in your workspace settings um, and get your information all set up. So go uh, workspace settings, then my business. Um, this is where your logo will belong. I don't have a logo, so just my face, uh, add in your legal name and um, all of your information. These pieces are gonna populate throughout the app. There are lots of places where you're gonna use tokens and those are gonna pull in this information. So this is where you'll want to do that. Um, make sure you add in all of that information about your business. The second thing that I would get set up are your workflows. So as far as your client workflows, that would be like a traditional CRM. We're going to look at your pipeline. And so um, this is the stages that you are going to move your clients in and out of as they are a, a prospect, doing onboarding, um, sending an invoice. Uh, that's what kind of this is for. So you can think of it a bit like a, a project management, but for clients. So client management. Uh, you're aware what client relationship management is probably because you're already doing it. So we encourage you to kind of think of each of these stages as like individual bits. So you can see here, I've got um, some random ones that I'm using personally, but you can also see like, I want to send a proposal. I want to send a meeting. I want to send an invoice. So kind of think about those stages in your process with a client and get as details as you can with your client life cycle. So to add one of these, you're just going to click the plus button. You can add a new stage. You can change the color. Um, and then most of your stages are going to be in progress. You have kind of this new stage. You have an on hold stage and of, of course, closed one and closed lost. So I would set up my client relationship uh, stages here. That's under your pipeline settings. The other bit that you'll want to set up, especially if you're using Moxie for project management, are these project settings. Similarly to the client relationship, but this is your internal tracker. So thinking of the way you're going to move projects, the work that you're doing through your workflow, um, you can add, again, same thing. You can add as many stages as you like. If you're going to be using the client portal, um, these will alert your client that there is action to be taken. Um, and th this column, you can say that this is my completed column. And everything below this column um, will be also considered complete. So those are some quick settings that I would get set up, both your pipeline settings and your project settings. They are all totally customizable. These are the ones that kind of come in here standard, but you can always um, change the name, change the color, all customizable. The next things I would get set up are my forms. So I would um, create a discovery form that you can embed on your website. If you already have one there, that's fantastic. You can recreate that form within Moxie and then you can embed it directly on your website. The key thing with forms is making sure that each of your fields that you have entered are mapped so that um, Moxie can pull all of that information in for you instead of you having to do it individually. So as you create your forms, make sure you map each of the questions to the appropriate place. Even custom questions, you can pull those in as custom fields, um, making sure that you give them each a clear mapping key. Those are not client facing. Those are um, just internal for you to use. So I would set up my form and I would make sure that my form is dropping all of these website inquiries into a stage in my pipeline. Again, you can choose that. That's all um, part of the setup that we just talked about. Um, um, but you'll want to pull those into your pipeline. Um, the next thing I would set up is a meeting scheduler. So um, these are such fantastic tools. You've probably already used one of these where you can say here, my calendar is already connected to this link. These are already the times that I want to meet. Um, and so you can pull in um, 
you can add other scheduler owners. You can connect it to a certain calendar. You can um, pull in one of those forms you just created so that your form is also attached to your meeting scheduler. So if someone wants to schedule a meeting with you, they need to answer answer these questions up front. Add in um, custom notifications and reminders. You can require payment for these meetings. And then here is a quick glance at what those look like should feel very familiar as far as meeting schedulers go. That would be the next thing I would set up um, is my meeting scheduler. You may also want to use your forms for a client questionnaire. Um, we've got lots of ideas for you in our template library. So if you pop into uh, these templates and in each of these professions, there are versions of intake forms and discovery questionnaires. There are um, onboarding questionnaires. You can click on import um, and then you can uh, pull that directly into your Moxie and then you can take um, the information that's in here and just edit edit a form instead of having to create a brand new form from scratch every single time. Next, of course, because you know with client work, you never work without an agreement, I would start creating an agreement template. So beginning with an agreement that you love already, um, create a head to workspace settings, then templates, and then agreements. Again, we've got this template library that um, we've built, and you can choose um, to take a look at all of any or all of these. You don't have to like have told us which of these you are. Um, you can pull in any of these and take a look at what the agreement looks like and you can see um, what how each of these agreement works. I won't get too in-depth on agreements here just so you can get a big overview of what agreements look like. Um, but here is a great starting point for creating an agreement. We have text. You can add in your packages. You can give your clients a choice. They can select from different pricing points. Um, you can add in payment plans or uh, integrated payment contract terms. We have a whole section in our help center, which lives here in the question mark, all about um, your proposals contracts and quotes. That's all your agreements. The last piece, um, sorry, not quite last. The next bit that I would set up are your uh, email templates. We also have um, templates for emails. I suggest these Moxie Essential emails. These are all versions of emails that we have in the app. Um, if you want to have kind of um, a more personal or just a starting point for sending an agreement or confirming that a form has been submitted, this is a great spot um, for you to begin. So, um, Or you can just click the plus button and create a brand new email um, and you'll want to create some email templates that go along with um, the rest of the things that you're going to be sending, like sending an invoice or an invoice reminder. The final piece um, that I have been saying is kind of like the top tier of education when it comes to Moxie are your workflow automations. So again, I highly suggest um, checking out our help center for this um, in the sales pipeline. You'll find several videos when it comes to creating automations. Um, these automations move in and out based on your pipeline. And so that's why when we were talking about pipeline settings earlier, I said, you're going to want to get very granular on the ways that you are creating your pipeline. So when an opportunity enters your pipeline, like this is one that I've created for my discovery form. So this assumes I've got my discovery form created, my discovery forms on my website. When it gets filled out, it gets dropped in to this uh, automation. This is a pretty simple one. It starts when a form gets filled out and is in my inquiry stage. Then I have this decision node right here where I'm going to choose a path based on conditions. And this one is based on my budget. So I've chosen the form answers category. So when a form is created, I am going to read my mapped field budget. And if it is either one of these items from that form, um, my automation is going to make a decision. So either, yes, I'm going to send them this confirmation and say, thank you so much. Here's a reference back to uh, what you said in your form. And uh, I've got my email signature there as well. And if they are 
are not one of those budgetary uh, items, they're going to get a no thanks. It was really nice to hear from you, but we're not quite the right fit. And then I'll just change my stage to lost. So that is a super high level overview, just some of the top things that I would get set up in Moxie. And uh, a very quick review of those pieces. They are all in workspace settings here. So that's getting your business and your logo set up. It's getting your client relationship set up that lives under your pipeline settings and then getting your project management set up that is under projects. I would get my forms set up using for discovery, maybe a client questionnaire. I would go into templates and I would set up agreement templates because we never work without an agreement. And I would get some email templates set up as well for use throughout the app, whether it comes to sending an invoice, sending an agreement, sending a form, um, just kind of a stock email that you always send to thank all of your clients. Lots of options here. There's no limit on how many templates you can create. Again, if you ever have questions, we are always happy to help. I highly recommend our help center here. Um, here are some other great videos about getting started. Um, there are uh, videos and help documents for every single one of Moxie's uh, main features. And if you find yourself still needing help, you can always chat with us. Um, our team is happy to help you and we would love to get to chat with you as you get set up. Thanks so much for being here.